Hello there folks, my name is Great Mighty Poe, and welcome to a quick little tutorial on getting some decent looking screenshots with free cam using the Dark Souls 3 debug menu. So, yeah, I've walked people through this before, just typing it out, which was not the easiest thing to do, so I figured I'd put an actual tutorial out here on how to do this because getting cool looking screenshots is really simple. And it's really fun, so hey, tutorial, totally worth it. But not for rambling, let's get into it. First things first, need the debug menu, which can be found on Nexus. I'll shove a link to this down in the description. So, yeah. Let's go to the description, let's tell you all about it. Uh, down here is a link to the Dark Souls 3 modding server. Uh, if you go on there in the tools and resources section, we have an updated version of this if you're interested. But just for screenshots, this one is good enough. This one's good if you're a modder though, but this one here will do. So, uh, go into files, go manual download, and slow download. And it'll download quite quickly. It's only 47 kilobytes, so nothing too big. And it'll get you this. So, you have these, just Drag and drop both of them out. And you get the readme at d3dll.dll. That's a mouthful. Uh, but this here will tell you the basic controls. And one thing to note, you are going to need a controller. The debug menu does not work with keyboard and mouse, unfortunately. So you need a controller. Uh, another option, if you want free cam, would be to use Cheat Engine. But I'm not going to go into that. I find this just a little bit more convenient. So main thing here is this and this. So this will open up the menu and you don't actually need the menu open for freezing and unfreezing the camera but this is how you freeze and unfreeze the camera. And the installation is pretty simple and so is uninstallation. So it's just putting a file in and taking a file out. So you know, copy that add the Black Souls 3 game folder and we can paste that into here. So your game folder will look a lot different, won't have quite as many folders, but hey, as long as that file there, beside your exe, you're good to go. And we're going to open up Dark Souls 3, and I hope it doesn't take 10 hours to launch. And it's going to take 10 hours to launch, isn't it? It's going to be 90% of the video length is Dark Souls 3 loading. Much like my installation guides. <laughs> oh, come on. And I should also have my controller visible on screen for use to help out. So, yeah. Should make it a bit easier I'm explaining some of the button inputs on what to do. So, I use an Xbox One controller, so all my inputs will be based on that. So, yeah. So,. We're in game now, so we're going to actually go over a couple things that are really, really useful to know. Because as long as getting through areas, getting screenshots, stuff like that, you don't want to fight anything, stuff like that, so I've got the debug menu, so for me, well, for a PlayStation controller where it's select, I don't know what this button's called on an Xbox controller, because I never bothered to learn, but that button, that flashed up on screen, I'm sure. Then you go into game, C-H-R-I-N-S. CHRDBG, and then in here is a whole bunch of options. So, I don't know what all these do, but yeah. So, player all no dead, I use one quite a lot. The CH makes so you can't die. All no dead makes so nothing can die. Uh, all no damage means nothing can take any damage, but stuff can still be hit. All no hit means your weapons will just phase through enemies and any weapons will phase through you. So nothing can be hit. So pretty useful. Especially getting screenshots of bosses and stuff like that. Uh, all no attack means stuff can't attack but it can still move. So if you want to make stuff not move then you have all no move. So these two together mean nothing can move, nothing can attack you. They'll just stand there staring at you. So I'm not sure about all no update AI. I'm not sure about that one. I haven't used that one, so all the stamina consume. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you won't consume any stamina at all for any weapon attacks, so 
really really good for getting some screenshots of weapons and auto MP consume is you won't consume any FP so it's MP there but it is talking about FP so you won't consume any FP so you can spam spells all day long so we'll turn on yours too auto arrow consume I haven't used that one I should mean you don't consume any arrows but yeah magic quality consume no clue or oh, magic quantity consume I imagine it's left over from DS1 and DS2 where you'd have charges to your spells, but that system's gone, so yeah. Uh, durability damage, I assume that means it's going to stop durability going down. Yeah. I don't know what most of these are, because I only use a few of them. I don't know what this one does either. So, yeah. The main ones I use are the ones I've currently got on, so. Play No Dead. All no hit, all no attack, all no move, all no stamina consume, all no MP consume, and then these two down here, these come handy as well. Play a hide and play a silence. So, with all no attack move and well, all no attack and all no move on, enemies can't move and they can't attack, but they can still look at you. So they will track you. So if you don't want them looking at you, shove on these two and enemies are going to see or target you. So they won't know you're there at all. It's very useful. So. Yeah, that's the basics of the debug menu for the stuff I use. Uh, what a bonus, I can actually back out of that. Come down here, go down to underneath the locked target manager or whatever that is, and go into this one here. Enable this. That one there will give you weapon hitboxes, which very useful to have. Just a quick little bonus there I thought I'd throw in. Oh, my voice is starting to go really bad. So, yeah, back in this menu. So, yeah. At the moment, all we have on is all the same consume, all the consume, and play no dead. And now we get into the actual part of the video you're probably interested in, which is free cam. So, we're going to run up here. Because I want something for a bit of light. And that probably gets to start shooting at us. But we can, do, we can disable that. So, all no attack, all no move, they'll leave us alone. So, we can run around here, and the enemies can't do anything. Which is very nice. So, now we're going to get into how to get into free cam. So, first of all, you need to hold A. Or one of the buttons on your controller. So, holding A, and you just push in the left stick. And boom, you're in free cam. And now some interesting stuff for this is the... Uh, left bumper. Left bumper will slow it down, so you can get right up nice and close to things. And right bumper. I hope you don't have motion sickness because it's probably going to get really bad. I'll just go straight across like that. And it speeds it up. So, yeah. Left, slow, right, fast. Nothing is just normal speed here, which is pretty good. And now we're going to get out of the debug menu. Well, out of the debug menu, out of free cam. So hold A, push the stick again. And that's going to lock the camera to that position. So you need to do it again, so hold A, push on the stick, and camera's back to following you. And yay. So, now we're going to take some of that stuff and we're going to show off another thing. So, hold A, cast spell, free cam. And so now our character's in this position, but we want to show the actual spell going off. So, what we can do is we can push X. And tapping X will advance it by one frame. Holding X will let it advance at normal speed until you release it and then it freezes again. So, hey, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So, yeah, that is the absolute basics. And you can do this with weapons, spells, bosses, enemies, anything. So, yeah. I should note certain buff VFX on weapons won't show up for whatever reason. Um, I haven't figured out how to get around that, unfortunately. So,. Yeah, a little bit annoying. Uh, you can just lock the camera to a position and then get the buff VFX in place. But yeah, a little more complicated, but oh well. And we can get out of this, and I can also do this. Because I can show off all the colours, all the pretty colours of this thing flying through the air. And it explodes and explodes, and lots of pretty colours. So, yeah. So yeah, this has been the tutorial for 
Dark Souls 3 debug me and you free cam. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little thing here. And I hope you have fun with debug menu and free cam. Because it's pretty simple. I should figure it out. So, hope to help someone out. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.